It's the first of the year. So I figured I may as well do a cooking under the influence I haven't done one in a long time. So what do you do for New Year's? I think I already did a New Year's feast last year. So I'm not going to do a rerun. That would be stupid. Catholics will celebrate anything. But I did find out that January 1st is the Feast of the Circumcision of Jesus. Ah! Yeah. So today on CUI, that'll be our theme. First God is the deepest. Baby, I know the first God is the deepest. Hello and welcome once again to 2015. See how much has changed? Not much. As you probably know, my name's Sean. I'll be your host and chef du jour. I have Mark as my live studio audience today. Say hi. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. You know you? Prospero y feliz año. Oh. So today is the Feast of the Circumcision. <coughs> so you have that. Really? There's a feast about circumcision. Let's get started with that, but before we <clears throat> observe circumcisions, which we're definitely not going to do today, is li observing literal circumcision, we definitely need a drink. Yay! Yay, what do you want? All right, today's drink is bourbon and Diet Coke, because that's what I have. Oh, that goes down nicely. I know. So how do we observe this Feast of the Circumcision? <laughs> In a circumspect way? <laughs> I like that. Thank you. That looks like a nice little foreskin, doesn't it? I'm going to do this squid differently than I did the last time. These have already been cleaned, which is very handy dandy. And we're just going to drain all this liquid out of our squid. So while the little foreskins are draining, let's get started on the accoutrement that they're going to go with it. Let's not get a mental picture of that. What, the accoutrement? No, draining foreskins. That really sounds gross. You said it. I, I did it. say it, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? I know what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to get me a couple of onions. White onions, yellow onions. Not red onions. I wouldn't do red onions. Oh. Jesus Christ. Speaking of chopping things, <laughs> all I'm going to do with these is just chop the onions. Speaking of chopping things. we got our onions chopped. It makes you cry, because whenever you're talking about circumcision, somebody's going to be crying. Saute these onions until they're translucent. Ooh, speaking of crying. Crying. What I'm doing, by the way, I don't think I mentioned in my innuendo-filled intro. I'm making stuffed calamari. Stuff will be in the stuffing. I'm drying some of these calamari bodies because I want to see how they do. I'm going to grill some and then I'm going to not grill some before I stuff them. There's two ways to cook squid and get them tender because they're chewy otherwise. Cook them less than three minutes or more than 20 minutes. But for this select batch, I'm going to try both. I'm going to grill them real quick and I'm going to have a batch where I don't grill them and see which comes out better. A control group, as it were. All right, so these are turning pretty nicely translucent. Not real brown, so we're going to put those on the side. So real quick, we're just going to throw those in for just a second. All right, so just a minute. Now we're going to let those cool off. Put a little olive oil in there. All right, let's get our little tentacles. I'm just going to grill those real fast, too. <laughs> These look so weird. <laughs> I love it. It's like, whoops. It's like a little flower. <laughs> a little starfish. A little starfish. The onions, the squid bits, all that's going to cool down for now. But remember, we still have this other squid that we didn't grill just to see how it comes out. Oh, and that's dri dri dripping all over the floor. Whenever there's cutting of flesh, as in a circumcision, there is blood, so we have to make some blood. Okay, dump in some crushed tomatoes. This is tragic, I'm forgetting my drink. Ow! Oh, wow, that thing's a lot sharper than I thought. You want to bloody it up? I know, talk about bloodying it up. Just a little bit of generic 
Oops. Maybe a lot bit of Italian seasoning. Okay, so just basic tomato sauce. We're gonna let that simmer. I'm not just gonna use plain old canned tomatoes in my sauce. So let's get some real tomatoes and chop those up too. Drink me. Oh, you know what? We're gonna preheat our oven, 350. There we go. Okay, so since we have our little foreskins that are no longer full, filled with male tissue, we have to <coughs> fill them up with stuff. <coughs> Stop doing that. So to make our stuffing, we're gonna get our onions. We're gonna get our little squid tentacles here that have cooled off. This is a bunch of Pecorino Romano cheese, nice sharp cheese. Add a good bit of that in there. And we got some little small shrimp too. So Shrimps. next on the agenda, that vegetable you don't have to worry about. We're gonna get a little bit of parsley. Am I making this more difficult than it has to be, or is it already more difficult than it probably should be? You usually do that. Let's use some oregano or oregano if you're not from around here. So I'm gonna pull just the little leaves off the oregano. We're gonna chop that up, put that in our little seafood stuffing mixture. A little bit of salt. <laughs> a little bit of pepper. Ooh, carefully measured, obviously. <laughs> you know what? I sense there's going to be a problem getting these big large shrimp into these little tiny holes. That's what she said. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna it. make it into a nice sort of a pasty thing. Let's make a pasty thing. Now we've got our bag of seafood paste stuffing shit. We're gonna add some ricotta cheese because what? Why not? Because why not? Get that ricotta mixed up in there nicely. This is the technical process here in culinary terms called squishing. Squish, splash, I was taking a Split, splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a New Year's night. With the feast of the circumcision and I got out of the tub and everyone could see that was right. And speaking of circumcision, Cut the tip off. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, this actually works really well. Get these little guys to squirt in the hole. Oh, wow. This has taken like a bajillion years to do. To fill up these little calamari things. But I still have all this leftover stuffing paste stuff and I have no idea what to do with it. Dish full of stuffed penises. We're going to put this tomato sauce the tomato sauce over our foreskins here. Before we go in the oven, our Feast of the Circumcision stuffed calamari with blood. It's like a song, yeah. This brings a whole new dimension to the phrase, this is my body, this is my blood. Eat it. Kind of. And we're going to let that bake for like, I don't know, half an hour. Why sure. not? Angel hair pasta? No, I'm going to do penne, because I think it literally means penis. Penne is the plural form of the Italian penna, derived from Latin penna, meaning feather or quill. Rigate, feminine plural of rigato, meaning striped. I have that one too. There's a lot of juice in there. I was not anticipating that. Here at CY, we expect failure. Uh, that's not a failure, it's just unexpected. It may be wonderful, I don't just, know. Just a variation, that's all. It could be a, just a variation. Let's take half of our pasta. We're gonna coat that with some nice tomato sauce. It's hanging around. Now we're gonna take our pasta, the rest of our pasta, put the rest of our pasta in there. And we're going to make all this pasty stuff into a nice little sauce for our pasta. Alright, so we've got a tomato -y sauce and we've got this creamy seafood sauce. Alright, but they're both very similar to what we have in the oven. Which is Jesus foreskin. 
And just in case, we've got the number of, of a pizza delivery place. Too. Get a little bit of extra cheese, because cheese. This is my body. <laughs> this is my blood. Eat it. It's not chewy. It's very tender. That came out really good. Let's try this white sauce stuff. See how that is. That's delicious. It kind of tastes the same, just without tomatoes. All right, well, that turned out pretty good. Happy Feast of the Circumcision, kids, and Happy New Year. Until next time, bon appetit and adios. Walking back, I need your loving tonight. It's the only thing.